Hey, it's you, everyone. So, uh, don't be me, okay? Yeah, that's how I'm gonna start this. So, I'm gonna get right into the story, okay? So, the story all starts with high schooler Luna, okay? Now, it was like any other high school day. Wake up, feel like a dried raisin, get on the bus, go to school, get through the day, repeat the process, right? And there was this girl at the time I was talking to, that's also another thing it starts with, and I'm not gonna say girls are the root of all evil, but I definitely had some bad luck with them, okay? But anyway... I had this girl I was talking to, let's just call her Maya. Me and Maya were pretty cool with each other, and I thought she was a cool girl. We weren't dating or anything, I guess you could call it friends with benefits, but you know, we liked each other, right? And we would hang out all the time, we knew each other for a couple months, and we would text a lot, all that stuff. But anyway, this day I woke up, got on the bus, went to school, met up with her at breakfast, hung out with her at breakfast, like I would always do, and then basically I just went through my day. I went to my classes, got to lunchtime, went to lunch, hung out with her at lunch, after lunchtime, I had a couple more classes, and then I got on the bus and went home. Now, this is kind of where the story all starts to get interesting. So, I'm texting Maya after school, and uh, she starts flirting with me, and I was flirting back with her, and then out of nowhere, she surprises me with, like, a photo of herself. And uh, not just, like, a normal selfie, but, you know, kind of like a, a more provocative type photo. Now, being the young, stupid teenager that I was, I was like, oh, well, I definitely have to return the favor. And I just, I can't stress this enough, guys. Don't send pictures of yourself that are nude or provocative or receive them or vice versa because you never know if that person could be on some unregistered Hypercam 3 screen recording type stuff and gets your photo forever and it can haunt you or get in a lot of trouble. But anyway, back to the story now. Like I said, she flirted with me. I flirted with her. She then sent a surprise picture. I then sent one back. And that was pretty much the end of all that. We just kept talking for the rest of the day after all that was over with. And we talked on the phone later that night. And then I fell asleep. Then the next morning came around and I woke up again feeling like a dried raisin of death. Because I had to wake up early for school. I texted her good morning. She said good morning back. Everything was cool, right? I went to school. I saw her at breakfast. We hung out at breakfast like we always do. I went to first period. And I guess it all started in my first class. First period. I was sitting in the back of the room doing my work. And I kept getting weird stares from people. Like, some people I never even talked to before were giving me weird looks. And I was like, okay, what, do I have something on my face? So I literally stood up and went to the bathroom to check my face to make sure, like, nothing from breakfast was left over on it. Or, like, to make sure I didn't spill anything on my clothes that I might have missed. And so I don't look funny, basically. But anyway, nothing was there. And I was like, okay, well, then why are people staring at me? I couldn't really figure it out, but then I just kind of thought to myself, you're worried for no reason. Just go back to class. Nothing's wrong. So I did, I went back to class, went back to doing my work, and the same people kept looking at me, and I still just couldn't really figure it out. But anyway, got through first period, didn't think much of it, just kind of left and was like, you know what, whatever, just me being worried for no reason. Then I met up with my friend after first period, and he told me something that like blew my mind, okay? I said hey to him, he's like, yo, what's up, I got something to talk to you about, and I was like, Okay, it's kind of weird because he would never do that. Like, he was usually never the person to ever be serious with me. He was like one of those school friends you would only joke with. So when he said that he wanted to talk to me and looked pretty serious, I was like, okay, what's going on? So I asked him that. I was like, all right, what's up, man? He's like, all right, look, have you seen the photo? And I was like, what? What photo? He's like, someone sent a picture to like three or four people and they're claiming it's you and your nudes or whatever. And they're just going around telling people about it that they have it. And immediately, like, these three feelings of, like, what the hell, crippling embarrassment, and just like, oh, no, settled in. And I asked my friend, I was like, wait, have you seen it? He's like, nah, man, you're my homie. I didn't even know if it was true. And plus, if it was, I wouldn't want to go looking for it. And I was like, thank you. And he was just like, it's just the person that has it. They're going around saying that they have it, not necessarily giving it to everyone, but just saying they have it to try and embarrass you. And I was like, really? That's pretty evil. And I was like, well, who is it? And he's like, guess. Because me and him both knew that there was only one girl at the time that I would talk to in that school. And plus he knew because he talked to her and she was like saying that she had it. But anyway, I said, I was like, is it Maya? And he's like, yep, that wasn't hard to guess. And I was like, why? And he's like, I don't know. I was just about to ask you the same thing. I think you guys really liked each other. I was like, me too. We were just hanging out like an hour ago. Like we're on really, really good terms. I don't understand why she'd do that. And my friend was like, yeah, man, I thought the same exact thing. And then the bell was about to ring, so my friend quickly was like, all right, dude, I gotta go. We're gonna talk later about this. I'm really sorry. I was like, yeah, man, don't worry. See you at lunch. And then he went to class, and so did I. So I get to class, I sit down, I immediately text Maya, and I was like, hey, can we talk at lunchtime? And she's like, yeah. So I go through a couple more classes, longest wait ever. Keep in mind, throughout all of this, I was still getting weird looks here and there. But anyway, I went to lunch, I saw Maya, I was like, hey, so what's going on? She's like, what do you mean? 
I was like, are you, are you like saying that you have like a picture of me and then you're like sending that picture around that I trusted you with? And she was like, no. And I'm like, are you sure? Because people are being weird and like someone told me about it. And I'm not even kidding. She starts fake crying on my arm, like fake crying on my arm, no tears at all. She's like, I'm sorry. It, it got out there. And I was like, what happened? And she was like, I was just trying to send a joke to some of my friends in a group chat. And I accidentally sent that photo. And I was like, okay, first of all, how many people were in the group chat? She was like, I don't know, like four. And I just said, I was like, it seems like more than four people are acting like off towards me and being weird and like looking at me. And I was told by a friend that like you were going around showing and kind of like bragging about it to people. And she's like, no, I promise. I promise that's not the case. Like whoever told you that is lying about me. They don't like me. And I was like, okay, you know what? Fine. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Just please, please don't send that stuff anywhere and like don't talk about it. And she's like, yeah, okay. And then that was the end of it, I thought. I was like, okay, well, I've kind of been exposed. It's embarrassing. I don't like the feeling, but you know what? I'm going to get through this. Then the next day came around, and uh, Maya didn't talk to me all day. Still getting weird looks here and there. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that bad. Like, the only bad parts were, like, the fact that people would give me weird looks. People probably heard lies about me. And the fact that I didn't know that, like, my nudes were kind of leaked. That was a little weird. But I then went up to my friend, the same friend that told me about everything later in the day. And I was like, hey, you know how you told me that, like, she was bragging about, like, having my nudes or whatever and, like, betrayed me, basically? Like, is that true? Because, like, she's telling me a completely different story that it was, like, an accident and that, like, she's not bragging or, like, saying anything or, like, anything like that. And he was like, dude, she is lying. And I was like, okay, can you, like, text her and, like, try and get her to, like, do what you were saying she was doing yesterday? He's like, yeah, man, sure. So I go to the next class. I get through that class. A lot of weird stares in that room. That was kind of the most awkward class I ever had when this went down. I hope no one just interpreted what I said as a lot of weird staircases in the room. But yeah, anyway, a lot of weird looks in that room, okay? Felt pretty uncomfortable. But anyway, after that class, okay, I came out of the hallway. I found my friend. I was like, yo, did she reply? He's like, nah, she didn't reply. I was like, fuck. Like, I was so, so angry. I was like, come on. I just want to see if he's telling the truth or not. So I went to a couple more classes and I had lunch. I was in lunch just sitting there actually by myself. And I felt so weird. It's like everyone just kept looking at me and it made me super paranoid. I thought everyone knew more about me than I did myself. It was just like super, super just creepy and off-putting. But anyway, I got lunch after lunch. I went to my next class and finally my friend texts me. He's like, yo, when the bell rings, meet me at the library. So I waited. The bell rang. I went up there. I was pretty just like eager because I just wanted to know if like she replied or not or like what's going on. So I went up there. I meet my friend and he's like, hey, look. And he shows me his phone, and it's her basically joking about the whole thing and being pretty much a backstabber. He was acting like he was in on it and, like, on her side. And he started the convo by saying, like, Austin's so pissed about that whole thing with the picture. Like, he's so angry and embarrassed about it. He was talking to me about it earlier. And she replies saying, LMAO, good, in all capitals. And I was like, what? I was so confused. I was like, okay, first of all, I wasn't even that mad about the picture. I was more just, like, confused and, like, a little embarrassed about it. But second of all, like... I never did anything wrong to this girl whatsoever besides, like, be super nice to her, like her, and I thought vice versa, but shit, she hated me for no reason, and I was like, damn, okay. And I know someone's gonna comment and be like, well, what'd you do to get revenge? I didn't want any revenge, first of all, because that's fucked up, and, like, I'm not gonna stoop to that level. Second of all, I just kind of wanted an explanation, because, like, I was confused. But anyway, after all this happened, I just told my friend, thank you for getting the truth, I then approached her later that day before I left school and I was like, hey, can you just tell me the truth? Because, like, my friend showed me, like, you laughing about the whole situation and stuff. Like, I thought it was an accident that you were, like, sorry about it. Even if it was still an accident, why are you laughing about it? And immediately her face changes and she starts getting, like, teared up and she starts crying. And I was like, can you just tell me the truth? And she's like, look, look, I'm so sorry. Like, I did send it to one person as a joke and then they sent it to other people and I had no idea I'd get this far. I was like, okay, so it wasn't an accident. And she's like, well, no, but I didn't want it to get this far. I'm just like, whatever, you're lucky I'm not some overly sensitive dude that, like, gets so upset about this kind of stuff. Because most people, when they have this stuff happen to them, they get really depressed and, like, their lives can be ruined because of it. And she just kept saying she knows and she feels so bad about it and she's sorry and to forgive her. And I was like, okay, you know what, fine, like, you're forgiven, learn from this, don't do it again. And then I just kind of walked away because there's really nothing else I could say. Like, I could have been a complete dick to her, but, like, why would I even bother? Everything was kind of done already. Luckily, I didn't have my face in the picture, the one that was sent to people. And no one really could confirm it was me. So when people did finally start asking me about it, I just said it wasn't me. And it actually died down and like never really bothered me after a couple months. But there was one funny, memorable thing about all this that made me laugh. A couple weeks after this happened, I had a friend. Let's just call him John. Now, John was gay. 
he came up to me and he's like, hey, man, is this you? I was like, no, John, it's not me. And he's like, I'm just saying, if it is you, you're fine as shit. Like, don't be upset if that's actually you. And it just made me laugh about the whole situation because, like, it was the one positive thing that came out of it. But, yeah, I guess everything ended up being okay. The whole thing died down, thankfully. Me and the girl never talked again. No one really messed with me after a couple months. And we were good to go. And that's basically it. Pretty long story and a crazy situation. But, yeah, moral of the story is don't sext. Be careful with who you trust. Don't fall into gossip. And yeah, guys, please leave a like on this story. Leave a like if you want more longer stories. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys all tomorrow. Peace.